Today is just a quick update talking about the DJI Digital FPV system and the news that we have some new cameras and ear unit combo coming. Now, first of all, we have an announcement from Runcam, but there also appears to be a little bit of a hint coming from Foxeer as well. Now, talking about Runcam first of all, we now have a release date for their new Runcam Link ear unit and Phoenix HD system. Now, this is the first from the Runcam of their official DJI FPV products. Whilst Runcam have released cameras that are compatible in the past, the MIPI, for instance, was released with unofficial support. However, after that, there was an announcement that Runcam will be working with DJI, and this is the first combo product that we've seen as a result of this. Now, taking a closer look at what we have, we have what we call the Runcam Link, which is basically the ear unit light, or what is also known as the Vista ear unit, and they've got a new camera called the Phoenix HD. Now, we don't have exact information on this yet because these aren't in people's hands, but I will have one of these in my hand early next week, and I will be reviewing that. So if you're interested in seeing that, hit the subscribe button, and that way you'll get an update when the video comes. So what do we know on this? Well, we know from the pictures that the ear unit looks like the ear unit light or the Vista, but there is a hint that there is one change and that hint is in the specification and the specification is that it supports a voltage range of 7.4 to 17.6 or 2 to 4S. Now this is a bit different from the ear unit light or the Vista because the Vista supports up to 6S. We don't know at this moment in time is this an error in the specification or is this actually the hinted change that DJI said about in their last firmware update adding support for new ear units that have some hardware revisions but here and now the spec is saying 2 to 4S. With regards to the camera itself, well, this camera is a 720p 60 frames a second camera. This is not a low latency model, so this is a standard camera just like the Runcam MIPI or the other one from Cadex, which is the Polar Starlight. It says it works with the low latency to 32 milliseconds, which is the standard mode rather than the low latency mode. It features a half inch sensor and has ultra low light capabilities for night style flying. Now, Looking down at the camera and the specification wise, they're saying, as I've said, half inch sensor, 720p, 60 frames. Field of view wise, it's 157, uh, depth, horizontal 133 and 72 degrees vertical. It has a rolling shutter. It has a 12 centimeter cable. It is a 19 by 19 camera and it weighs 7.5 grams. Now, there is also some info on the ear unit as well, and all of that is pretty much the same as what we have for the Vista, apart from this new voltage rating, and we're going to have to see what that is all about. Now, you can order this camera on its own, but it's also going to be available in this Link Ear Unit and Phoenix HD camera kit, which contains the camera, the ear unit, the power cable, as well as the antenna as well. Again, very similar to what we've seen before. There's nothing specifically jumping off the page here, but it is interesting nonetheless. Now, price-wise, it is going to be $154, well, $154.99 for the ear unit and camera kit, or you can go for the camera and cable on its own for $54.99. It's going to be available from the 18th of October. And as I've already said, there is one on its way to me now from Runcam. So I'll be getting that in next week, putting it through its paces and then sharing with you guys what I actually think about it. Now, it's nice to see another official uh, camera coming it would have been nice for this to have been a low latency because that is what people are screaming for. However, I'm interested to see how this performs compared to the others. It's always good to have more camera options, but we really would like to see some low latency models as well. And again, we need to dig in and understand what's changed on this ear unit. Is this is the updated version of the ear unit that DJI hinted at in the last firmware update? as a result of having to make some changes. There's no specification changes. There's nothing new. It's not 2.4 gigs. They simply said they were making a change as a result of global supply issues. 
But I do have some concerns that if this voltage rating is correct, there could be a lot of confusion out there when people are mixing up air units from, say, the Vista to this one and not understanding the voltage range differences. But we'll have to see what happens with that one. Now, alongside this, there's been a little bit of a leak or a hint from Fox Ear, and that is that there is a new camera coming from them. They've released a video on their Facebook page. This probably won't look very good on the stream. I, I have to admit the video really didn't look very good anyway. But when you look at what they're saying, finally, we named it the Foxier Apollo Digital FPV Camera. And when they go through the chat, they actually say that it is going to be for DJI and you can tell that in the proper video from the way it breaks up. It's not shark bite breakup. It's very much that DJI style. But they have also said that there is going to be a shark bite version of this camera coming too. So not only have we got something from Runcam, we've potentially got this from Fox Ear as well. You can see this on the Fox Ear RC group. I'll probably put a link to this in the description so you guys can see the footage properly. It looks terrible when I'm watching it here. Um, I'd be interested to see what the footage actually looks like because as it is like this, it really does them no favours. Now, as I've said, that is pretty much where we're at today on this. It's going to be really interesting to see what has changed with this run count kit. And as soon as I get it in, I'll be tearing it apart, having a look, and we'll have a dive in as well to see if these voltage changes are legitimate. I hope it's a mistake on the website for users because it is going to get confusing. But we're also going to have to see, does it look different? It doesn't in the pictures, but that doesn't mean it isn't. You know, these are renders from the look of it more than actual pictures so there could be some differences in the actual unit when it does arrive and we'll have to wait and see how that looks or at least that, that looks like a render to me looking at these images anyway so we'll have to see how it all turns out anyway if you're interested in seeing more on this again as i said at the start please do consider hitting the subscribe button don't forget to hit the little bell next to it as well if you'd like to support the channel there are links to buy me a coffee as well as patreon in the video i also have a discord server that there is a link to in this video as well if you're interested in that please do check it out